Buju, Kinamagi and Nene Ireland Adishnikas, and welcome to this math tier two intervention. Today's episode, reteach 5.2. made this become a nine, so 2.9. 76 and 238 thousandths, so the nearest hundredth. Three is in the hundredths place and eight is in to its right, so that becomes a four, 76.24. 90 and 763 thousandths. Seven makes this zero go up to a one, so we have 91. 0.337 or 337 thousandths, so the nearest hundredth. There's a three in the hundredth place but it's in a seven to the right, so that three becomes a four and we have 0 0.34. 2.7 to the nearest one, two is in the ones place, seven to the right, goes up to three, and 55 and 23 hundredths there to the nearest tenths. So we have a two in the tenths place, a three does not make that go up, so it stays at 55.2. Remember, this, if the spot to the right is zero to four, the digit in the place value be Indicated stays the same. If it's five or greater, that digit goes up by one. So let's get into today's lesson for estimate sums and differences. To estimate a sum or difference, you can round the numbers first. This makes it easier to add or subtract mentally. Key detail, don't add, don't add or subtract and then round. Then you've wasted a lot of your time because now you already have the, the formal answer and there's no point in rounding. So we, when we do this, we're gonna round each decimal to the nearest whole number. So 18.7 to the nearest whole number, or in whole number means to the ones place. So this is an eight with a seven to the right. That makes this go eight go up by one to nine. So we have 19 minus, and then we have four with a two to the right. The four stays the same. 19 minus four is 15. We'll do a few here. And you have to pay close attention to directions. And this is something that sometimes happens is we forget the detail. Round each decimal to the nearest one, round each decimal to the nearest 10. When you miss those things, that's when we start to have problems. And we'll do a couple here. Let's get our draw here. To the nearest one, so in the ones place, there's a two to the Right, so that stays the same. So we have four plus this, we have a two here with a seven to the right. So that makes this two go up by one to three. And then four plus three, you know, is seven. All right, so over here, I've underlined my ones. So this is gonna be 18 or 19. I look to the number of the right, it's a nine. So that goes up to 19. Subtract, number to the right of the five is a three, so it stays at five. 19 minus five is 14. After we look at these ones that are for the nearest 10, you will be expected to do numbers three, four, five, and six. If you need a moment to finish writing this in, please pause the video and then hit play when you're ready. Otherwise we will pause for about five seconds for you to make that choice and then we'll move on. All right, let's clear the drawings. Otherwise I can't move my screen here. So we went to the nearest 10. This is gonna be the tens. Tens is the second number to the left of the decimal. I look to the number to the right, that's a five. So that I add one there and it becomes 40. And this is addition. It's a one, there's a nine to the right, so it goes up to two. So I have 20 and then I get 60. I'm gonna ask you to finish the remainder of these problems. You may return it at the next paper exchange or take a picture and 
email it to me at myirland at psychchipschool.net. Remember the best way to get these lessons is to participate during our in-class sessions. These videos are intended to help students who may either need a little further review or miss the session for whatever reason. Beginning with next week's episodes, there will be Google Forms attached in order to reduce the amount of paper that's going back and forth. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at myirland at psychchipschool.net. Hope you all have a minute. Gijigat and bye-bye.